Well, most vehicles are built for efficiency, but every now and then something comes along that evokes a certain romantic nostalgia. One such vehicle is the motorcycle sidecar. Tony has more in today's Behind the Wheel. This is a 1965 BMW R69S. The sidecar, to my best guess, is probably from the 1980s, and it's a Ural. Pooh Bell has had a long history before she showed up into our hands. You mentioned her name is Pooh Bell, which of course is French for... Trash can. <laughs> uh-huh. And as Matt and Zoe Presley will tell you, a sidecar, like a trash can, is a little tricky to roll down the road. But that hasn't stopped them yet. It does not turn or handle the way um, a traditional motorcycle does. As long as there have been motorcycles, there have been sidecars in every color and configuration you can imagine. They're classy and cool and undeniably quirky. It defies what we think of as appropriate on the road vehicle experience, but there's something about it. Sidecars are just fun, you know, you, everywhere you go, you make friends. It's just a really different way to experience the landscape. You can smell everything, you have this 360 degree view. I find it one of the more peaceful experiences of life. I mean, they make it sound like such fun. You kind of got to give it a try. There are moments in a sidecar when all you hear is the wind, all you feel is the sun, and all you see is the sky. And in those moments, you almost forget you're in a chair with a wheel without a seatbelt. It defies logic on many levels. <laughs> Without a doubt. Sidecars present a transportation trade-off. A little less safe, a lot more fun. But for Matt and Zoe, the decision to get a sidecar was never about safety. It was about love. Well, a big part of it was wanting to be able to share the experience with Zoe, who um, you know never really enjoyed riding on the back of a motorcycle. Until he got this, riding was something he just did by himself. And so now I can accompany him. It's changed things a lot for us. He's right there and I trust him. Pooh Bell is not the Presley's daily driver. They just roll out a few miles here and there when the mood strikes on a sunny day, making any occasion a special occasion. When we drive into town, the kids are waving, people get so excited. You know, it, you get to experience a different kind of humanity. When you, when you ride in an object of fascination and interest. The smiles per mile cannot be replicated by any other form of transportation. Sounds like this trash can is going to keep on rolling a little bit longer. As long as we can keep going, for sure. I'm Tony Martinez, Fox 12 Oregon. They are such a great mm, couple. I do want to yes. ask you, Tony, do yeah. you know how the trash can got its name? Well, I think it's obvious. Did they just name like it themselves, though? Did they name it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they named it. Uh, and actually, I was talking to them about, you know, riding it. Matt's always the one who kind of drives it, and you have to kind of lean to kind of keep things balanced. <laughs> and so I said, yeah, we lean together, which Aww. I thought was just like, they were breaking my heart. <laughs> you know what I love about it. that, too, is that it's an object of fascination. I think a lot of people haven't seen a sidecar in right. person before. Yeah. So when you see yeah, it rolling yeah, yeah. down the road, you're just really yeah. amazed by it. I uh, think yeah. it's Big so thanks neat. to Matt and Zoe. They're wonderful people, and just uh, really, I uh, had a pleasure out there enjoying the afternoon in a sidecar. And if you want to go more fringe, I think they actually have races uh, where the, you have the motorcycle yeah. and the sidecar oh, and they're yeah, racing yeah, around yeah. a track. And they really lead. Yeah. <laughs> like off of the thing, yeah. That like, will be the fun. sequel to uh, this story. Andy's Adventure. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Like All set. Yeah, yeah. We shall see about that.